Hi everybody, everybody I'm back and today, today I'm going to show you all how to make chicken and biscuits. Chicken and biscuits is on the menu for dinner tonight at the Young's house. Here's what you're going to need to make it. You will need chicken. Now here's the thing, you can see that I am using a oven roasted chicken. You can roast your chicken yourself or you can go out and purchase uh, already made oven roasted chicken like I did today. You will need biscuits. I always like to use Grand's Pillsbury flaked layered biscuits. All right. You will need heavy whipping cream as well as mixed vegetables. Now these mixed vegetables, they have carrots, super sweet corn, green beans, and peas. You will need chicken broth. And that's it. You're going to need some seasonings, of course. I'm sorry. Um, and I'll probably use a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. But really, that's it. You're going to throw this bad boy in the oven, and you're going to have one delicious, hearty, fulfilling dish. Here's what you do first. So now, if you're that person that says, well, I don't want an oven roasted chicken, and I'm not making one. Okay, well you can go ahead and cook you some chicken if you wanted to use, you know, maybe um, chicken breast. Cook it up. Don't do it raw. Don't do it raw. You have to cook it. Take your chicken breast and you want to season it and cook it. You can cook it on the stove until it's done and then you can chop it up or pull it apart. Or you can throw your chicken in the oven. When it's done, bring it out, let it cool down, and then take it apart. Okay, so this one here, let me get a good picture here. And we're just going to go in and take the skin off. You don't want the skin on this dish, all right? I absolutely love the skin of oven roasted chicken, but it's not for this dish, okay? So you want to just go ahead and take all this, see all that beautiful meat? Take all that meat off of this bone. No skin. All right, and it's really up to your discretion whether you want to chop this up. Me personally, I just kind of do a number like this and pull everything apart and then I'm satisfied and happy. I don't need to chop it up any. All right, so this is how you're gonna pull it apart and I'm gonna get every piece of meat off of these bones and then I'll discard of the bones, all right, in this manner. I hope you all are having a great day today Hope you all had a great weekend. Absolutely I do. This recipe is so simple, lots of fun, and it tastes so good, guys. I cannot wait to show you how to make this. I am so happy, and I know I say this in a lot of videos, but it's true. I'm so happy that I have a chance to be able to share my family's recipes with you all in hopes that you will make it for your families and friends and your loved ones and then you let me know what you think about the dish. I love when you all comment and let me know like, hey Gina, so I made so and so for my family and you know, blah blah blah. They loved it or whatever. Let me know after you make this dish. Absolutely, because other people read the messages too. And they want to know, hey, what does it taste like? You made it, what does it taste like? You know, and so other people will read your messages and they're like, okay, I must try this. Okay, I'm even getting this, all that meat off the backbone. Oh yeah, we're gonna, ta we're gonna tear this chicken apart, you hear me? Woo wee! So I'm gonna continue to take all of this meat off, pull it apart just like so, and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody, so we have our chicken, nice and deboned. No bones are in here, no skin. Now let's go ahead and season our chicken up. We're gonna use some garlic powder. You use what seasonings you like, okay? When you're making my recipes, use whatever seasonings you like, and it really, it's that simple, okay? We're gonna put some cracked black pepper in there. Make sure you put a nice amount in because we got a lot of, a lot of food to season. All right, and then we might season it again once we put our sauce in and we taste our sauce. You want to taste this several times so that you know, you know, like what seasonings you need more of or if you don't need any more seasonings. We're going to go in with some sea salt. Just 
start off with a little bit just like so. I don't have any oil or butter in this pan. We just want to heat the chicken up, all right? So let's start to heat our chicken up. I have this on a medium high heat. You don't need to turn it up any higher, okay? Once we get this nice and warmed up and <clears throat> all the way through, we're going to go in with some chicken broth. Now I have the low sodium chicken broth. You can use regular chicken broth or you can use any kind of broth that you want to use. If you have vegetable broth, you can use that as well. Absolutely you can. Make sure to turn your oven on 350 degrees if you haven't done so yet. All right, once this gets nice and warm, I'll be back. Okay, everybody, our chicken is cooking up just beautifully. It's almost nice and warmed all the way through. Oh, yeah. Boy, am I so excited for this recipe. Very simple recipe. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and put you some chicken broth in there. How much? Just put you some in there. Because uh, I'm going to eyeball mine. But in the description below, I will tell you the exact measurements that you're going to need in order to make this, okay? So don't worry about that. All right? Get that broth. Soak your meat down in that broth just like this. Okay? Bring the broth up to a nice simmer, and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody, now that our chicken broth has started to come up to a nice simmer, it's almost boiling, you want to go ahead and put your vegetables in. Now, honestly, it's really up to your discretion how much vegetables you want to put in or what kind of vegetables you'd like to use. Me, personally, I like to use the whole bag. This is a 12-ounce bag, but you don't have to use the whole bag. And you don't have to use these vegetables. If there's a vegetable that you would like to use, absolutely you can use it. You know, if you want to use asparagus, whatever you want to use, you can absolutely use. But I do not suggest using the canned vegetables. The canned mixed vegetables, don't do that, guys. Please don't do that. At least don't do it and call it Gina Young's recipe. <laughs> okay? All right, just like so. So now, here's what you want to do. You want to let these vegetables get nice and cooked, okay? And then give one a taste. Give one of the green beans or a peas a taste. When it's nice and soft and you know that your vegetables are cooked, then is where we'll um, proceed with putting our heavy whipping cream in. And we'll bring our biscuits into the equation. Okay, everybody, let's peek in at our beautiful mixture that we have here. And you can see that the chicken broth is evaporating, but the vegetables aren't done. So put you some more in there, okay? Because that chicken broth is going to be what helps cook the vegetables, all right? So then just give it a nice mix. I've tasted this chicken and this chicken tastes absolutely amazing, especially when you take the time to season it. You know, even though it's been seasoned and it's absolutely delicious, season it again. Put you some sea salt, put you some garlic powder and black pepper in there. This chicken broth just takes it overboard. Absolutely it does. These vegetables, beautiful. These vegetables should probably be done in around about five minutes. Okay, everybody, our mixture is done. It's looking beautiful. So, our vegetables are done. Here's what you need to do. You want to take, well, let me show you how much chicken broth we have in there. See that? There's not a lot, but there's a little bit in there. And that's how you want it to be. All right, because this chicken and these vegetables, they're gonna absorb that little bit of chicken broth that you used. Here's what you're gonna do next. If you wanted to use a little bit of butter, you can, absolutely you can, to make it a little bit more richer. But I'm not gonna use any butter, okay? 
So pour you some in there, your heavy whipping cream. This is gonna make for a nice, beautiful, thick cream sauce. And this here, this mixture right here that we're making, this can be used for chicken pot pie if you like. Absolutely it can. By the way, if you all haven't seen my chicken pot pie video, be sure to check it out. It's really, it's a nice video that you all will absolutely love. So now's what we want to do. We want to go in and taste our seasoning again now that we've put extra ingredients in. So let me grab a spoon and taste our sauce. Because I want to be happy with the sauce before we go any further. If I'm not happy, then we'll re-season. Okay? Let me taste it. Mm. Oh, just beautiful. We don't need anything. No salt, no pepper, anything. Wow, that's beautiful. Great. So now what you want to do, we're going to let this cook for around about five, five to seven minutes until it gets a little bit thicker. Okay? And look at this, guys. I'm drinking on fruit infused water absolutely delicious this gives you the chance to get those antioxidants in from whatever you know from your blueberries I have watermelon in here and I have some grapes and it's so pretty and it makes you want to drink your water right <laughs> absolutely I think it's the cutest thing all right Beautiful. This is what you're going to want. So, over here I have a 13 by 9. I believe this is a 13 by 9. Don't quote me, guys. Now what we're going to do, turn that off. Meet me over here on my counter. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, come this way. Just like so. All right, and then we're going to pour this whole mixture down into our pan, just like this. Such a great recipe. All right, see that there? You want to make it nice and level. And then we're going to put our biscuits on top. Put those biscuits right on top. Now here's the thing. Whatever type of biscuits you like to use, it doesn't have to be this kind. This is just the kind that I like to use. Okay? Grab your biscuits, pop them right open, just like so. Then you're going to take your biscuit dough and you're going to lay it in such a manner. Okay? Just like this. Wow, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful already and it's not even cooked. <laughs> this here, this is the type of meals that I live for. I love a nice, quick, and easy meal. Okay, everybody, now that we have all of our biscuits aligned just like so, you're going to want to put this in the oven on 350 degrees. And when you see that your biscuits are nice and golden brown, you all know what golden brown looks like, right? When you see that these are nice golden brown, your dish is done. Okay, so as soon as this is done, when I take it out, I'll let you know exactly how long it took to cook. And then we're going to taste this. I'm going to let you all know what it tastes like. Okay, everybody, there's something I forgot to do, but it's okay because it's never too late. Okay, where the spaces are, where the uh, biscuits are, you know how there's some space. I'm going to pour this cornstarch and water slurry between the biscuits so that our sauce can get nice and thick. 
somehow guys like seriously my husband was behind me and he was telling me to come here for a second i put the video on pause put everything in the oven and forgot to thicken the sauce but i'm back all right so two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with water pour it right on in right between the biscuits but what you can do is you can put yours in before you put the biscuits in all right so i'm going to do just that and then i'll be back Okay, everybody, take a look at this. This was in the oven for 20 minutes. Our biscuits are nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And what you want to do is you want to let this rest for around about at least 7 to 10 minutes so that we can eat it without burning the daylights out of our mouth. Now, I'm going to grab a little bit of butter. And I want to smear my butter onto the top of these biscuits in this manner. Now what I love, what I love about this video is how I forgot to put the cornstarch in. Because this right here, this shows you in this video that real life happened, things happen, and you might forget something. But it's very simply fixed. You see that? And like I always like to tell you guys, seriously, don't stress out in that kitchen. Don't stress out. Don't worry about nothing. Everything is easily fixed, just like we did, you know? And that's what I live by that. I don't worry. I don't stress in my kitchen. And if something happens, just know that it can be fixed, you know? And really, it's that simple. So, in this video, I forgot to do the cornstarch to thicken it, but I was able to mix up my cornstarch slurry, and right here, I poured it in right here, I poured it in here and here. I took a little fork and I stirred it around and we're gonna have a nice, beautiful, thick sauce. And it's that simple. No worries in this kitchen, guys. Trust me when I tell you this. And having patience, like I always like to say, hey, listen here, if you can have some patience in that kitchen, you're gonna have some good food. Absolutely you are. Okay, we're gonna let this cool down and then we'll come back we'll give this a try let's say a blessing over our beautiful dish let's see if i can pick it up look at this god bless this meal lord we thank you for this meal today we thank you for your blessings your love time your mercy and your understanding send your angels down to surround us day and night and your holy spirit to help us make good decisions give us peace over our mind we pray that no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you, Lord, for blessing my YouTube family. I thank you, Lord, for blessing my YouTube. I thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head and the food that you feed us. Amen. Okay, everybody, let's dig in. This is cooled down enough so that I can enjoy it. And I'm so excited. So I got a bowl here. I'm going in. I got my eye on this one, guys. This one right here. This one is calling my name. Oh, it's calling my name. And I cannot wait till you all can see. Look at this. See that beautifulness? Oh, I think I got some glare from my camera. Let's see. I'm Hold on. I think I had a little bit of glare. See that beautifulness? Oh, my word. Do you hear me? This right, and I want all that goodness. Give me all that goodness that's down in there as well. I cannot wait for this. Whee! Chicken and biscuits. You all better make you some. If you never had this before, make you some. Look at that. And then we get the flaky biscuits. Oh my goodness, look at that. To absolute die for. Let's dig in. Of course, of course I'm gonna let you all have the first bite. Let's taste this first. You want to taste this first, and then we'll go in and taste that beautiful flaky biscuit. There you go, guys. Dive in. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. 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 Oh. Absolutely amazing. Don't forget the cornstarch. <laughs> And you can put the cornstarch in right before you put the biscuits on top and just stir it in. Two and a half tablespoons full. Mix it with a little bit of water. Mix it right on in. Make your sauce nice and thick. Look at this. Beautiful. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. This almost puts you in the frame of thought of uh, what am I thinking, guys? Chicken pot pie. Wee, look at this. This one has a little bit of biscuit on it. Give that a try, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Every bite is so delicious and so satisfying. Mm. Take a bit of that biscuit. These vegetables, that nice, beautiful seasoned cream. This right here is a winner winner chicken dinner for sure. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. I love the vegetable mix that I use because I love peas and I love corn. I love the pop of the fresh vegetables in here. It really makes the dish. Mm, mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Mm, God bless you all. Have a great night. Good night. Mm, mm -mm -mm. Until the next video. Mm, mm -hmm. mm, mm -mm. Man, that dish right there make you smack somebody. You hear me? Mmm.